Hello, my name is Seth Phoenix, and this is a video of the journey my Hauptwerk organ has taken so far. This is strictly informational and is not intended as a tutorial in any stretch of the imagination. About four years ago, I was able to obtain an old Rogers Scarborough 750 electronic organ as a practice instrument for my house. I enlisted friends and family to help with the move and drove two hours to pick it up. It took three men and a boy to turn it on its side and get it into my very small apartment. It served me well for about a year and a half and then suddenly it died. I was at a loss. I'd been spoiled having an instrument to practice on in my living room. I started to search to find its replacement. It was then that I stumbled upon Hauptwerk. I knew nothing about it and didn't know where to start. My go-to is, of course, YouTube. So I started searching to find out more about Hauptwerk, what the equipment was that I needed, and of course, how it worked. In my searching, I found some organists who stream live on Hauptwerk organs from their homes. This was an inspiration. I was already some months without a practice instrument. COVID-19 had come, so no practicing at church as they were all closed. As a substitute organist, I don't have a regular church where I can practice. I had to do something. I purchased two Nexstar MIDI keyboard controllers, a computer, more RAM, two powered speakers, the Hauptwerk program, and received an audio interface as a gift from my brother. Thank you. I gutted the Rogers organ keeping the pedal board. I installed the two keyboards into the console, plugged it all in, and began my journey. I was hooked. Hook, line, and sinker. I found Frisak from Piotr Grabowski, a three manual instrument and the sample set was free. This worked quite well as I learned to operate Hauptwerk. More recently, I've been able to obtain the sample set from Milan Audio of the Salisbury Cathedral Father Willis organ, which I'm now using as my main practice instrument. I have only one monitor and it's not a touchscreen, so changing stops was a chore. I had to use the mouse. Back to YouTube again. One of the organists I'd been watching on a pretty regular basis was using something called a launch pad as an additional stop jam for his organ. Oh, Amazon, my friend, do you have such a thing? Yes, of course they did. So I cautiously purchased one of them knowing that if it was going to work, I would buy another. It arrived. Wow, how high tech. Of course it worked. So I immediately got another. Now, armed with physical stops that I could tap to turn on and off, I had to devise a way that I knew what stop each button represented. I made an overlay, which is working rather nicely. I still can't figure out how to get the buttons to light up when the stop is pulled. Yeah, maybe someday. You see the little red box up on the right with the dial on it? That's the gift from my brother. It's an audio interface, which I'm using as my sound card, MIDI input, and speaker output, as well as volume control. So to recap, I have two manuals, two stop jams, a free organ sample set, Hauptwerk to run it, and some beefy studio speakers to rattle the dishes in the cupboard but there was a piece of this missing, the pedals. I had to figure out how to make them operate with a MIDI system. I knew there were places I could get MIDI stuff for organs and I started my internet search. Yes, I said MIDI stuff. My knowledge of anything outside of mechanical instruments is very limited. I found a company in Canada called MIDIWorks and purchased a string of reed switches to change the existing pedal board from analog to MIDI. I installed these with the help of my brother. 
Then the pedals were able to talk to the help work program. I now had a two manual and pedal instrument. Now that the pedals were working, I thought it prudent that I string some white Christmas lights so I could see them. That's all well and good, but every organist knows that you don't put any undue pressure on the pedal board. Whoops. I laid on it. My thinking was that the more pedals I was on, the better my weight would be distributed. How wrong I was. I heard the snap. The wood that the fulcrum for the pedal sits on had broken. The pedals were just sagging and bouncing up and down. I was devastated. I dismantled the pedals and forced the broken piece back into place and locked it there with three large bolts. They were as good as new. Oh yes, somewhere along here I started my sock collection. As I learned how to work, I was finding more and more that the program could do. I found the stepper setting. Really didn't know what this was as the organs that I play are old tracker action instruments with no electronic presets. Well, the stepper is a switch or button that, when pressed, moves you from one preset combination of stops to the next preset combination of stops. Here is an example. You become your own registrant at the touch of a button. Instead of taking my hands off the keyboard to change stops, I could just preset what I wanted for a particular piece and then push the stepper to pull, pull the next group of stops. What a life changer. So back to the internet to find a MIDI pedal to use as my stepper. The next purchases were two swell shoes. I wanted a swell pedal and a crescendo pedal. Why? Because I could. And the Halpwork program has a setting for a crescendo pedal. I'm glad that I purchased two swell shoes as both the swell and the solo divisions are enclosed in the Salisbury organ sample set. Somewhere in there I built a light. I made it out of black iron pipe and a picture light like you would see in an art gallery. I also purchased multi-directional speaker mounts and affixed the launch pads to them so they were diagonally positioned with a slight upward angle. Easy access to see the stops and be able to turn them on and off. I then started to plan for real keyboards. The Nexstar MIDI controller keyboards just weren't cutting it. They were really clacky, they had a very deep key travel, and I didn't have them mounted to anything, so the swell, the top manual, would slide back and always with the most inconvenient timing. I had seen keyboards on my go-to for everything MIDI organ, MIDIWorks Canada. I looked at what they had available and then looked at the keyboards from a company where one of the internet organists I watch on YouTube was getting his keyboards from in Germany. The Canadian company was about half the cost of the German company. Who do you think won that race? Now I needed to decide if I wanted wood or plastic keys. I wrote the company with questions and received a prompt reply. I was still undecided, but deep down I knew I wanted the cherry wood core keyboards, but I didn't know how many. I tried to convince myself that more is not necessarily better, and if you play a sample set where the organ has only two or three keyboards, then the other keyboard or keyboards are just sitting there doing nothing. There are sample sets that have four manuals. Deep down I wanted four manuals. Again, why? Just because. I knew what I wanted, I knew what I could afford, and I was lamenting the fact that I was probably going to end up with three manuals. Oh, their marketing department must have been inside my head. You've heard the saying that good things come to those who wait. February rolled around and I received an email that the company in Canada was having a sale on the cherry wood keyboards. Remember I said I liked those? They were at the top of my list. Their February sale was buy three of the cherry wood keyboards, get one free. So I ordered the keyboards. They were spectacular. 
I got them home and in my haste, I assembled all four manuals, but found the case would need a major overhaul to accommodate all four. So for the time being, I installed two. The installation of all four manuals was easy, but prepping for the installation took a lot of time. I needed to modify the existing organ case. The modification and installation took 12 hours. Here, you see the music light is reinstalled and the back of the keyboards. This is the completed keyboard installation and the organ as it is to date. I have more bits and pieces on my project list. Piston rails and key slips for under the keyboards. Key cheeks to finish the sides of the keyboards. MIDI toe pistons and also I want to connect the lights and the power to their own designated switches. I would also like to hide the computer, although the power button needs to be accessible. This has been a tour of my Hauptwerk organ. I hope you've enjoyed watching and now have an understanding what a labor of love this instrument is for me. Thank you. Hello. In my searching, I found some organists who stream live on Hauptwerk organs from their homes. This. This was an inspiration. I was already some months without a practice in... in COVID-19 had come, so no practicing at church and... I purchased two Nexstar... Mi I purchased two Nexstar... Mi I purchased two Nexstar MIDI key. I have only one monitor and it's not a touch screen, so changing stops was a what? One of the organists I'd been watching on a pre pretty the a launch pad as an additional stop jam for his organ. I have only one monitor and some beefy studio speakers to rattle the dishes in the cupboard. But there was a then the pedals were able to talk to the Hauptwerk program. Then the pedals were able to talk to the Hauptwerk program. That's all well and good, but every organist knows that you don't put any undue pressure on the pedal board. Whoops. I laid on it. Whoops. I laid on it. I heard the snap. The wood that the fulcrum for the pedal you become your own registrant at the touch of a button. Instead of taking my hands off the keyboards to change stops, I could just push a... Easy access to C and the stops... Anything so the swell, the top manual, would slide back and always at the most... The next our MIDI controller keyboard... The Canadian company was about half... <clears throat> Now I needed to de Now I needed to de Now I needed to decide if I wanted wood or plastic keys. They were spectacular. I got them home and in my haste they were spectacular. I got them home and in my haste I assembled all four manuals this has been a tour of my Hauptwerk organ. I hope you've enjoyed watching and now you have an understanding of what a labor of love this instrument is for me.